This is Richard Rasner, an actor, a stuntman, published author, and historical consultant on piracy. For nearly 20 years, Richard has been living the life of a pirate for hire, running a crew of like-minded individuals consisting of actors who bring history to life through entertainment. You are watching Clan Darksail Presents. Bonjour, and welcome to the first ever episode of Clan Darktail Presents. This show is going to be a little mix of education, entertainment, and how to be a historically accurate pirate. My name is Richard Rasner, and I play the Marquis de Gascoigner in Clan Darksail. And as the uh, posh British announcer told you, I'm a maritime historian, and I've been uh, portraying a Corsair for over 20 years now uh, for various audiences around the southwestern United States. On this episode, we're going to be talking about the Blunderbuss, a very popular weapon during the Golden Age of Piracy. The Golden Age of Piracy ran from 1640 to about 1750. The word Blunderbuss comes from the Dutch word Dunderbuss, which means thunderpipe. Basically, boomstick the Dutch won't know much of the subtlety. The Blunderbuss is a shortened gun, much like a musketoon. A full-size musket being between 3 and 4 feet, a blunderbuss being around 2 feet. Now the musketoon was fired from the shoulder. The blunderbuss, as a personnel clearing gun, fired more from the hip. The main difference, however, was this muzzle flare here. As you can see, the gun comes up and flares out at the end. Now, as this gun was often loaded with grape shot, most people assumed that that was to help with the spread of shot. However, at this short of a barrel, that's not very effective. In fact, the flare was used more as a funnel. In the heat of battle, whether on a stagecoach or a ship swaying at sea, it's much easier to load as the flare helps you get your powder and shot in as opposed to a small bore pistol where you might uh, spill it everywhere. Now, you've also probably heard that in the heat of battle, people would load a blunderbuss with rocks, nails, broken glass, and while that can be done, as you'll see later, People prefer not to do that because it does, in fact, tear up the bore of your gun. If at all possible, you simply try to fire regular grape shot. This particular model of blunderbuss I am carrying here is of the French variety. Of course, we are very French here in Grand Uh It has a longer barrel, 18 inches, as opposed to the shorter 15 inch barrel you will see later in this video. And uh, this particular one comes with a dog lock mechanism as opposed to a flint lock. We'll go over that in a later episode, but it has to do with this little mechanism here. Now, I'm very excited because tomorrow we get to go on location and fire these guys off. All right, we are out on location today at a rock quarry on a BLM land where we are going to be firing our various uh, flintlock and doglock blunderbusses today. As a special note, some of the footage we are shooting today on location will be used in an upcoming episode of Smoking Guns on the History Channel. We're very excited to be a part of that. One of the questions we get most often asked at our black powder displays when we have a rack up like this, people will see this large flared gun at the top and ask us, is that a blunderbuss? Or, wow, what a giant blunderbuss. The reality is the blunderbuss is a much smaller cone as you see here on these guns. What Robert over there is holding is a hand mortar. We're going to revisit the hand mortar in a later episode of Clan Darksail Presents, but it didn't fire a regular shot as a blunderbuss did, but in fact fired granados out of it. For this next segment, we're going to fire the uh, dog lock blunderbuss and the hand mortar uh, side by side. You can see the comparison. Both guns are using 90 grains of 2F powder, so it's the exact same powder load, but the 18 inch barrel of the dog lock pistol that Isabella is firing is a much tighter cone of fire than what the hand mortar has. Isabella, make ready. Aim. 
and fire. Excellent, thank you. Robert, Robert's gonna fire the hammer with the exact same powder load now. Make ready, aim, and fire. There you can see the difference rather clearly. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Plan Dark Cell Presents. We did just a brief overview on the blunderbuss. If you did like it, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, liking us on Facebook, or following us on Instagram, hashtag Clan Dark Sale. I'd like to give a special thanks today to Nakayama Studios Riverside. Our crew of Clan Dark Sale are coming out and shooting on location. And of course, the History Channel show Smoking Guns for using some of our footage in their episode on the blunderbuss. Until next time, I bid you adieu. Thank <laughs> you.